needing to get started recording this video. It's been about two weeks. Here we go. to my channel. In today's video, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit more about my recent trip to Thailand and Laos with my husband. If you have never been to Thailand and Laos, it's one of those places where you just have to go once in your life. This was just kind of a, a spontaneous last minute trip that we took and it was definitely one that we're going to remember for many many reasons. A lot of things happened on this trip, a lot of great things, a lot of not really great things. We had to go because we needed to bring my grandma back home who was over in Laos uh, with my uncle and bring her back home to the States here. This was probably one of the worst travel experiences my husband and I have ever had. We booked our flights two weeks before we left and it was already pretty chaotic because it's last minute international travel. You know, most people have six to nine months to plan international travel. We had two weeks. Uh, so it was a little stressful trying to find flights that would fit our schedules and also within a reasonable price range. And so once we finally booked our flights, um, we were flying out from Chicago. And so lo and behold, we found out that our flight had been canceled. And this was literally four hours before we left. We were like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is international travel. We're supposed to be leaving in four hours. Our flight has been canceled. What are we gonna do? We have connecting flights that we are going to miss now. And like, I was just so stressed about uh, what we were gonna do because, you know, it's not cheap flying uh, international. So luckily we were able to rebook our flights for the next day. We did lose about 12, 13 hours. Um, so we, we booked our flights for the next day and then we got to the airport. We're at the gate, ready to go and everything. Turns out our flight ended up being delayed three hours. <laughs> Cancel flight first, and now a delayed flight. So right now we are waiting at the airport. We are in O'Hare right now, about to uh, board our flight in a few hours. So hopefully it's gonna be a smooth flight to Japan because we're to fly to Japan now. All right, just landed in Japan. We're in Narita, Japan. Okay, good morning everybody. Today is July 10th. Right now, Sue and I are in Bangkok currently and we are waiting to board our flight to Krabi. It has been a very, very long 27 plus hours of travel. You know, my husband and I, we were both very frustrated at various points during our flights and during our trips just because we had to change flights and then we had delays and then we've got to go get our baggage and then check in our baggage again and pay extra for checking in baggage. So it's it's just been a very stressful trip so far but you know i'm trying to have a positive attitude about it because you know what i'm just really thankful that we are here and that we have this opportunity to come and spend you know a vacation mini vacation in thailand and in laos that's i just cannot wait to be in our resort enjoying um the the pool the beach and just the, the great weather so <sighs> Almost there guys, almost there. We flew to Krabi, but we we're actually staying in Ao Nang. And so we were like five minutes away from Ao Nang Beach. And we stayed at uh, Peace Laguna Resort and Spa. Right now we are exploring our resort. And I have to show you guys this beautiful view right here. Wow. When we look out, we are looking at the beautiful cliff and cliff and mountain side. Um, that is right in the backyard of the resort. You can't have a better breakfast spot than right there. I mean, that, that view was just amazing. This is our room that we rented. Lots and lots of space, high ceilings. Over here, we have two closets, kind of a coffee station, bathroom and a big tub. And then the shower is outside here. This is shop head. I'm gonna get the mountain from the back. Okay. 
on this side. I love this also, complimentary robes. Little patio balcony outside. It's pretty hot today, but this is where we are for the rest of the week. And this is our balcony view. But guess what? I couldn't help but notice we got coconuts in the tree. I'm about to get some free coconuts. It was, it was so beautiful there. I have never seen so much green and like the cliffs and the mountains, it was just so beautiful. And everything there is, you know, still so untouched. One of the most scenic places that I've ever been to. Everything is so green there. It was really hot. Um, I will say we were not prepared for how hot it was going to be. So every day it was about 95 degrees with 90% humidity. And I'm not a person that usually sweats a lot, but when we were over there, I was just melting. On one of the days we were able to rent a long tail boat. Are you excited? Yep. We're on our long tail boat right now. Get ready to cast off. And we got to go island hopping. Somebody was trying to be all cool getting off the boat and instead what happened he fell in the water completely <laughs> my only regret is that i wish i had recorded it it's a blessing because now i'm cool because <laughs> now you're cool okay so you said something interesting don't these cliffs just look like the floating mountains from avatar and then they just landed and sunk here on the beach the weather was so nice and I mean again it's really hot and muggy but when you see all the videos of like how beautiful the, and how blue and how clear the water is and then you see the beautiful green mountains and cliffs there that are untouched undeveloped it's like still in their raw natural forms it's just such a beautiful backdrop and it's something that i will always remember we also got a chance to uh, rent a motorcycle for a day we did this when we went to the bahamas for our honeymoon and since my husband uh, rides motorcycles we were able to rent one and we just took it and just explored around the town around the beach around the areas and it was just it was a lot of fun because if you know in thailand all that everybody drives are motorcycles and scooters so we felt like a local riding one of those motor um, motorcycles around and we just had a really good time doing that. I mean, if if we would have known, again, like how cheap it was, we probably would have rented it for the whole week and just used that to get around everywhere instead of walking or, you know, getting a tuk-tuk to take us to places. But it was so fun to, to just rent that motorcycle and be able to drive around and explore more of the city and the area like a local. One of the things that I was really looking forward to on this trip was going to visit the night markets. And in Thailand and Laos and well, Southeast Asia actually, night markets and you know markets are basically like the places to go. That's where all the locals go. Um, you have a lot of street vendors, food vendors, uh, clothing vendors, a lot of people selling souvenirs. But I wanted to go just to try out the many different foods that they had available there. We got to see live performances we got to try a bunch of different foods. I had some authentic Thai papaya salad. Um, we had rolled ice cream, uh, pad thai of course. Um, we also had Thai pancakes which is really popular and then we were kind of adventurous and we tried squid. We wanted to be a little bit more adventurous with the foods that we ate over there just because we we're in that area and we want to try to experience everything like the locals do and so that also means eating like the locals but i love going to night markets it was something that i wanted to do every single night i think my husband got kind of tired of it because they all seemed the same after a while but the you know going to the flea markets and to 
the night markets. It's really super, super cheap. Um, you get really good food and it's authentic. The atmosphere is just really welcoming. It was really just great to go and experience those markets like how locals do. So after our stay in Krabi, Thailand, we flew back to Bangkok. We actually ended up missing our flight to fly from Bangkok to Vientiane, Laos. Um, and this was just because of, again, delays, 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 delays. I think we had like three or four total delays, um, four, three or four delays total this whole trip along with the canceled flight. So we had to rebook another flight for like six or seven hours later. And at this point, we were just so exhausted and tired because we had like four luggages that we were taking with us. We had to roll everything with us. Whenever we got to another airport, we had to take out all of our baggage, then recheck it in. So it was just, it was just a, such a hassle. I mean, now we know. Now we know for next time how we want to travel, how much we want to pack. I mean, we, we didn't really even pack that much, but we had to bring extra luggages with us. And so it was just a hassle and a little bit inconvenient to have to pay for all those additional baggage fees. But once we finally got to Vintiang, Laos, uh, my uncle and aunt came to pick us up at the airport and we were able to go back to their house. Um, and that's where we stayed for the next four days. Didn't really have any plans for Laos because we didn't know what to expect and what there really is to do there. Uh, so we let my aunt and uncle kind of just take us places and show us, you know, different sites and just, you know, share with us what there really is to do in Vintiang, Laos. One of the nights, we actually drove to Vang Vien, Laos, which is a village um, about northwest from Vientiane. It's about three, four hours away. Um, I had never heard of it. I had never seen any videos or pictures of it. And so we drove and it was at night that we got there, so we didn't really get to see much. But it was this super, well not super, but it was a really developed city for being in the middle of the mountains in Laos. Walking across the bridge in the mountains to our hotel. And you have to cross this janky bridge. The next morning when we woke up and we opened up our windows and we looked outside, oh, it was beautiful there. <laughs> jump into the pool we did swim a little bit because again it was very very hot and humid there but we did do some zip lining as well all right we got our gear on gopro strapped ready to go zip lining in the jungle <laughs> and Bang Bien Laos, I mean, that's the way to do it. But one thing that I thought was really cool is that when we were traveling to Bang Bien and also back um, to Vientiane from Bang Bien, you pass through a bunch of different little villages. It was just really cool to see the different villages and the people that are living in there. And every village that we drove to, there was like a specialty that they all sold because uh, again everybody's selling stuff on the side of the road and so as you're driving through one village everything that you see is like dried fish because that village is right on the river and so they sell what they have in the areas around them and where they live so you know that village would be selling dried fish and then we drive like a few more miles and the next village everybody there is selling bamboo and then we drive to the next village and everybody there is selling rice, um, you know, coconut rice. And in the next village, you know, everybody is selling pineapples. And so it's really interesting just to see the different um, food 
foods and different things that the people sell in each village because you can tell that they really utilize everything they have in that village. And it was really cute because as we were driving through the bamboo village, uh, we drove to the side of the road and then all of a sudden, like these little kids with bags of bamboo would just come up to our car and as soon as you roll down the window they put the bags like right into your face and they're you know telling you how much and how many do you want to buy and everything and it was so cute uh, because it's like these little kids like they're hus they're trying to hustle me <laughs> this is this is what they do like this is how they make a living by selling bamboo uh, much like all the other villages that's how they make a living by selling fish by selling pineapples by selling rice and so it was really cool to just go through all of those villages um, going from like the fish village to the bamboo village to the rice village to the pineapple village and it was just really cool to um, to be able to experience that. So on our way back home from Bangian, we did stop at a flea market, and oh, we tried crickets. <laughs> yes, so I had never eaten crickets before. My husband was actually like excited to do that because that was one of the things that he wanted to try. And so we got to try some crickets. Um, not my thing, you know, but I, I understand that that's what people eat in you know in certain parts of the world. The whole point of us going to Laos again was to go and bring my grandma back home to the States here because she had been over there for about six months um, and she needed to come back home to the States and so my husband and I went over there to bring her back to Boston which is where she lives and so oh my gosh coming back from Vientiane to the States um, well for my husband and I we had let's see so we flew from Vientiane to Bangkok stayed a night in Bangkok because our flight was the next morning and then we flew out from Bangkok to Japan Japan to JFK JFK to Boston where we dropped off my grandma and then from Boston to Minneapolis <laughs> so we had six flights that we were on coming back home to the States here and whew, we were just exhausted and tired from this trip. We were ready to come home because we've been traveling for so much and for so long as well. Overall, this trip, it was really a wonderful experience for us to be able to go and see, you know, the homeland of our people, to experience what it's like for them um, living in that part of the world. Definitely a traveling experience for sure with all of our delays and missed flights and canceled flights and multiple flights. This was really an experience that we were both really grateful for. We're glad that we were able to go and travel and do that. We're thankful that right now we have that capacity to be able to do so. So it all kind of really worked out well for us, I think. And, you know, maybe one day we will go back. Um, I think that we know a lot more now what to expect and how to prepare ourselves for next time. Going to Thailand and Laos, you will get views and scenery there that you won't find anywhere else. Anyways, thanks so much you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to thumbs up and also to subscribe. Um, I hope that you were able to see a little bit more of Thailand and Laos and hopefully put those two places on your bucket list of places to visit. Um, they are really hidden gems and there's so much beauty, so much scenery, so affordable once you're over there. So definitely a place that you should check out. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later. Bye!